everybody! Today I want to talk about my favorite travel gadgets under 50 euros. And when you look at other videos, minimalist travelers, and to be honest, I'm also living the cliche. Obviously, we all have we have our hero clips, we have the AirPod Pros, we live out of our peak design packing cubes, but that's not the gadgets I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about more day-to-day -day things, nothing fancy. Just things that I keep with me, that they don't take up much space, that probably I could go without, but since I'm traveling full-time, they make my life so much easier that I'm happy to have them along. And the best thing is that all of them cost less than 50 euros. So I really would not want to miss any of those things. And I sorted them by price, I tried to. So I will start with free ones and we will go all the way up to 50 euros. So I hope that you can get any inspiration for your own travels out of this. And if you already know those products, use them, like them, not like them, have any other tips for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I always love reading that. And I will also leave a link to the products in the description. So it's easier for you to find them if you want to. So the first item, and as they always say, the best things in life come free, right? <laughs> Is some silverware. It's not silver, it's plastic. Is it then plasticware? But I picked this one up in the airplane on the way over to Brazil. And I know many travelers who bought like fancy titanium silverware and special pouches and all those things. I just always grab whatever plastic stuff I get. If it's nice and sturdy like this, it's even better. And I'm happy to just reuse those things and give them a second life. The next thing is not a thing, but it replaces lots of things that I used to carry with me. You see, I really love reading and I usually read two to three books a week easily. And in the old times I had to carry physical books and then I had to buy ebooks. But nowadays I happily just use mainly the app called Libby and it's a library app. I think they're more or less global, so check with your library. And what you can do with it is that you can for free read ebooks and audiobooks. I usually read it either on my iPad mini or on my phone. And I was even able to sign up for it while traveling, so I did not even physically needed to go to my library back home. Okay, moving on to the next item, cost me 40 cents per pair, and that's earplugs. I have a very light sleep, for me earplugs are like the most important thing in the world. And unfortunately I have very small ears, so usually earplugs always hurt. So my current favorite, the only ones so far I found that do not hurt, are these ones from Honeywell, Howard, Lay, Max Light earplugs. And another thing I like about them is that they come in packages of two, separately packaged in a nice bag, very hygienic. They pack very flat. Um, I usually, with a needle, punch a little hole into the package to get the air out. And then I can just throw packages of them somewhere in my backpack and I don't even notice them until I need them. And I usually reuse them for around two weeks and then I replace them with a second pair. The next thing costs around 50 cents per piece and it's the one thing that I regret that I did not bring more of. And that's just simple Ziploc bags. I know most people bring them to bring the toiletries, but I also use them to store like nuts and snacks and all those things on the go. And the problem is that they always rip at some point and then you want to replace them. And can you imagine that here in Brazil, I don't find them anywhere. The next thing cost me around one euro, I would guess. And this is my fantastically homemade sink stopper. And I use it in the sink to wash my clothes. Also many times hotels in the bathtubs, the sink stoppers are not working and all those things. So this thing comes in super handy. And all I did is was that I used one of those silicone baking mats and I cut out this little circle. And by the way, if you want to see a video with a few tips of how I do laundry on the road, I already did that and I will link it down there in the description as well. The next item cost me also around one euro because I bought a package of 10 for 10 euros and these are these nice spray bottles. I was looking for a perfume bottle and I used to have those fancy expensive refillable ones but they always leaked, every single time they leaked and then my whole stuff smelled like perfume, like obnoxiously. I purchased these things. They're smaller, they're lighter, they're cheaper, they work better. I love them. And I also use them for my dry oil. If you want to know more about this, check out my toiletries video. I will also link it below. The next thing 
is around two euros, if it's even that much. And this is a little suction cup. I don't know if you can see it. Suction cup that has a hook on one side, plus a soap bag. <laughs> and I use it to just hang my soap into the shower. And since I'm traveling since months, one thing I found extremely useful is that in the soap bag, I just can collect all the little soaps that I get while traveling. So, you know, in every hotel, you get a soap to wash the hands and so on. You always have this little bit of soap left at the end. And usually it would just have been thrown away. But if it was a nice soap and it did not dry out my skin, I just add it to my pouch and there is a collection in there and I have never ending soap and it works quite well. <laughs> the next items are my, how you call it, drinking kit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like to drink every once in a while. So I have um, a little very thin bottle opener with me. And I also have this, that I already showed in another video, this wine opener that is very portable. You just put it like this and then you can open your wines. On the last video, many people asked me if I get this through security since I travel hand luggage only. And yes, so far I never had any problems. They never took it away. They never even cared. But obviously, I guess at the end of the day, it depends on the mood of the security guard. And even if they would take it away one day, it would not be a big loss. I would just replace it. So the next item saves me a lot of money and it only cost me a one-time payment for the cards. And I don't even remember how much it was, but it was not very much. But I basically have a Revolut card and a TransferWise card. Nowadays they're called WISE and they give you a very, very good rates for when you pay with them worldwide. And they have almost no fees and I have free accounts on both. But I already did a different video about them and I will also link it down below. Two more things I use almost every day that are super practical is my C2 Summit clothes line and this um, hanger that I purchased that you can just with Velcro clip over either this clothes line or a hanger or something like this. And it's very useful to hang up socks and underwear and other small items. So let's move on to the next item. Since I travel full time now, I decided to bring my good toothbrush because I have one of those Philips Sonicare ones. But unfortunately, I did not have the model that was compatible with the travel case that could charge with USB. And I did not want to buy a new toothbrush just for this. But I found a charger on the internet where I can just plug in a regular USB cable. And I'm very happy to have this because it saves me bringing the big Buchte charger that I would usually need for my toothbrush. The next item is my little travel wallet. It's from Tatonka, I think is the brand, and it has a little string like this. And I think it's originally intended to be worn around the neck, but that's not where I do it. I basically always just clip it or tie it like this, you know, like this, <laughs> around my bra here. And then this part I just tuck between my skin and the bra on this side. And with this, it's very easy for me to access this thing anywhere I want. And all I keep in here is just an ID and one bank card. And one thing I will talk about a little later. And right now I also have like the vaccine certificates and things in here. The next thing on the list is my little mini ventilator <laughs> that I already talked about in my tech pouch video. And it's with USB. So I can just plug it into a power bank or into a computer or some other outlet with USB. And then it gives a very nice breeze. And it comes in useful in so many situations, like when it's a hot night, it gives you enough breeze to fall asleep. Or I also use it to dry my clothes and really it does not take up very much space. The next item, I would assume that everybody agrees that it's very useful and these are scissors. The ones that I have are from a company called Fiskas. Yes, I can take them on airplanes, because they have a rounded tip here and from here to here they are less than six centimeters. So I always travel with this in airplanes in my hand luggage and I never had any problems. And another thing that complements my soap kit is this Matado soap bag. So whenever the soaps are not hanging in the shower, I have them in here to transport them from A to B. So the next item on my list is my C2 Summit pocket umbrella. It's very small, fits almost everywhere. I also travel with a rain jacket, but 
usually, at least here in Brazil, when it rains, it's still very hot. And then putting on this rain jacket is just too hot. And also, usually it rains like, what, 10 minutes? A lot, and then it's over again. And with a rain jacket, I have to carry around the jacket all day. And the jacket is a lot bigger than this umbrella. So it's not the biggest umbrella, but it's very, very useful. So the next item I like very much. I bought these little adapters. That's a USB-C to lightning. They are super useful in my opinion because they allowed me to reduce the amount of cables that I need to bring. The next item I have is my Sea to Summit Air Light Towel. I have the X-Large version. For what I use, this towel is almost perfect. I don't need it to dry myself up after shower or anything because usually I travel to places where I get a towel. But I just use it a lot to sit on the beach in the sun and it's very nice because it's super small, super lightweight and also you can just by shaking it out all the dirt and sand and everything disappears. And even if it gets wet, it almost dries immediately. I said I'm almost loving it because I don't like the shape. For what I needed, it's too long and too narrow. The next time I have some access to a good sewing machine, I will just cut this thing in half and attach it <laughs> with the longer side so it makes a bigger thing to sit on. And the next thing I have in my little wallet that I already showed you, and it is an... I guess you already know what it is, right? <laughs> it's an AirTag. <laughs> First off, I have this thing in there because I'm notorious about just putting this little pouch anywhere where I don't find it again. But actually the main use why I keep this is because it's very useful to find other people. So the other day we were traveling <laughs> with some friends to Rio and they went to have a beach day on the Copacabana while we stayed behind to work. And they did not want to bring their phones and stuff to the beach, which is understandable because they wanted to go swim. But we wanted to meet up for lunch. So what I did is that I just gave her my AirTag and I was able to find her on a full Copacabana without any problems. So for that use it was very nice. And of course she knew it's not like I stalked her or anything, which is something you absolutely should not do with those AirTags. The next thing on my list is this Bekabo Eagle Creek float bag. It's always very nice to have one compressible bag with you. And the reason why I love this one so much not only that it packs down small, I can use it either as a tote bag or as a backpack. It closes all the way up here with a zipper so it's not open and all my things don't fall out. And it's also the perfect size to be a personal item on an airplane. So whenever I fly, I put all those things I want on my seat with me in here and I just take it with me to the seat and afterwards I store the thing away again. <laughs> and speaking of airplanes, the next item is my Eros pillow. I used to have one of those neck pillows, but at the end I exchanged it to a regular pillow, which for me works much more. Because on an airplane I tend to sleep like, a, like an idiot, to be honest. <laughs> I just put this on the seat in front of me and then do this. That's the way I sleep. <laughs> I sleep on my stomach, so there's no way for me to sleep sitting. But I also noticed that when I'm in the airplane and I bend forward this flap on my head and I put this thing there, it gives actually a lot of support to my head. So I really like this. And the nice thing is that not like this U-shaped travel pillows, this one has so many other uses. I can use them on the beach, I can use it on the hammock, I can use it in a hotel when they only give me one pillow. This is not something I would usually have bought. I bought this two years ago when we did a long distance hiking and all the Alpenverein huts in Austria did not hand out pillows anymore. I'm so glad that I bought this. The next item on my list is this little wallet from Fjellreden. I don't use it as a wallet. I use it as my, I think nowadays it's called everyday carry. And in here I just keep a few things that I like to keep with me every day when I go out. So I just have some hand balm that I can also use as lip balm. I have my, <laughs> my two bottle openers. <laughs> I have some floss. You know Brazil, lots of meat. I have some sunscreen because, I mean, look at me. This is, this is my maximum 10 after five months summer in Brazil. So yeah, 
And then I just keep here some uh, disinfectant wipes, some tissues, and here in this uh, little zippered pocket, I keep some medicine, like diarrhea pills. So very, very happy to have this, and I really like the size. It's very small and it keeps all my things compact, and it's very easy to just have it with me. Like it. The next thing is this small speaker from JBL. It's the Go 3. We purchased it recently while traveling here in Brazil because we had a puppy in the Airbnb next door and it was crying all day. And sometimes it's just nice to have some background noise. And actually, since we have this speaker, we realized how much we actually miss having background noise. Just some music or something in the background is very, very nice. And the last thing on my list, the most expensive one, the one I actually cannot even believe that I paid that much money for, is a flashlight. <laughs> uh, this was my early Christmas gift to myself last Christmas. And to be honest, this is the best thing I bought last year. I really love it. It's the Nightcore Tiny 2. I use it every night in the room, especially with hotel rooms. I don't know who designs these things, but most of the time there is no plug on my side. If there is one, then it only turns on the main light. So in a hotel room, all you have is pitch black or brightest light. And my husband goes to sleep much earlier than me. I like to stay up. Usually I was just sitting in the dark and I really hated it. I use it on this minimum mode, which is one lumen. So it does not give very much light. It's like one candle in the room, but it's just perfect as a little background light or at night when I want to go to the toilet or try to find something. I don't have to wake up my husband all the time with the light. And yeah, obviously it gets very, very bright. <laughs> but I barely ever use this mode. Only sometimes when we walk on a dark beach. And um, very nicely you can charge it with USB-C. And on the mode that I use, one lumen, uh, the battery lasts around 60 hours. So every single night I'm happy that I have this little thing with me. So yeah, that's it. That's all my things, or not all my things, but a few things under 50 euros that I brought and that really make my traveling life that much easier. And I'm happy that I have each of them with me. If you want to see more tips and tricks and more minimal travel videos from me, then I will link you my playlist somewhere here. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.